Welcome to the Business Owner Spotlight Series. My name is Gabriel Moore. I am Senior Partner here at Action Coach Vanguard in Central Iowa. Today, I have the lovely Ann Wright, the owner of the Wright Coaching and Training Solutions, as my guest. We're going to be talking about her business, journey to business ownership, challenges, best practices, and share a sneak peek into what it's really like to build and operate a business. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to like and subscribe to get notifications of new conversations, just like this one. And welcome, and thank you so much for being here today. Uh, give us a brief overview of your background and tell us a little bit about your business. Okay, well, first of all, Gabe, thank you so much for having me here. I totally appreciate this, and I absolutely love conversations. So, you know, my, I'm going to do the best I can to give a Reader's Digest version of what you <laughs> asked me. So, quick background, originally from Illinois. I am a Midwestern girl through and through, though I did move to Florida for a year. Uh, that is a different conversation in itself. The but tan, the you got to get a tan. You know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, the experience was an experience and memorable. But anyway, my background, you know, I was, I've been in retail management, nonprofit management. I used to work for the American Cancer Society. I was part of the Iowa division and the Midwest division. I was very fortunate to serve on the transitional management team because in the late 90s, the American Cancer Society went from 54 entities or divisions, states. I know we only have 50 states, a couple states had multiple. We merged within ourselves. And going through that transition and change where Iowa became part of the Midwest division with Minnesota, Wisconsin, okay. and South Dakota really gave me an experience of learning what it's like to go through a major change like that. So mm -hmm. I have nonprofit management experience. I love the learning and development field. I've always been in learning and development in some way, shape, or form. After the American Cancer Society, uh, which I still love the organization, but uh, having a little baby, just I decided I needed to, could be a vice president and I could be a mom. I just didn't feel I could be do both the way I thought they should be done at the same time. Too, too broad I mean, of a laser, be. right? Too broad it's, of a laser. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For, for me, it, again, it doesn't, everybody has their own journey. Sure. So <laughs> I was fortunate enough, I had gone back to school as a non traditional student and earn my master's in business leadership, which opened up a door to teach. That's so, so fantastic. Yeah, I, 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 I still teach a couple of classes and I love, I call them my students, not that they're my students, but I <laughs> love my, our students. And so through teaching, I facilitated workshops for over, oh gosh, probably 25 years. So I facilitated workshops, worked with DISC, and taught and expanded from facilitating workshops. And I still facilitate workshops, but I also facilitate team retreats and I'm a certified and credentialed life leadership and team coach, or I'm a certified uh, life and leadership and team coach, credentialed leadership and life coach. So it's just really exciting to, to work with people in whatever capacity they need Right. and really help them accomplish their goals. That so, is a nutshell of it. That's amazing. Is there is there like teaching or or coaching like in your family's background or are you the one that kind of picked up the reins on this in your family? What what's that look like? You know, um my dad was it my dad, I am a policeman's daughter. Okay. My dad was captain of police and he had his own business. So I knew from gr literally grade school I was going to have a business. I didn't know what it was going to look like, but yep. it was going to be a business. And I actually have, I worked with, my dad passed away a number of years ago, but when I was in grade school, middle school, high school, I worked with my dad every single summer. And then sometimes throughout the year, if he needed something, he, uh, yeah, he had his own business and I loved working with him. My business sense, I believe yep. comes from my dad, my compassion comes from my mom. What a, what an honorable thing to say. That's so cool. I really appreciate Thanks. that. Thank um, you. When you, uh, when you tell 
what what kind of role do you currently play in your business? I mean, I, I'm familiar with you as a, as a coach, as a fellow coach. Um, yeah. what, what role do you currently play um, as a, a title, role? Um, what, is, what does that look like right now? I am a, my business is an LLC and I am a solopreneur. It is me, myself, and I. Got it. In the business itself, though I want to, so I, I do the coaching, the facilitation of workshops, though there are things I outsource. Like I am not a web designer. Sure. I did not do my website. Oh, dear Lord. Th thank goodness. <laughs> and, you know, and so, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So those things I do, I, I, I write my own, you know, articles and things like that. Yeah. However, there are a lot of solopreneurs out there and it's wonderful that we collaborate with each other and we re refer each other. There's a lot of business out there. And it's, 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 there's so much, so much business out there. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, you said solopreneur, I mean, if I, if I may, um, yeah. that's, that's a lot of hats, right? I mean, you're wearing, yes. um, you and I both know what goes into business and, and it's not just the coaching part, right? It's the, it's the financials, it's the sales, mm -hmm. it's the marketing, it's all of those different things. Um, how do you, how do you kind of handle the weight of, of like all of those hats? I and mean, what's your strategy on that? I work to prioritize. I have also learned in the beginning, I thought I had to do everything. Right. You just do. Right, right. I've learned A, I can't do everything. I can do some things. And I've chosen what do I do well. In business-wise, it's coaching, facilitating, speaking, and those different things. Right. I've I outsource well the website. Um, right. I still do my own books and everything for now. Right. And so that's really, I prioritize and I, I hired a coach. I being a coach, I know I also need a coach right. as much as you can coach other people. We're still human. I and have two I think coaches. That's, yep. I, I, I have a, I have a coach for my book, which I can't wait to share with you a little bit later. And okay also a coach for okay what are my priorities because i have all these ideas going on in my head sure and it, it helps and it helps to have somebody holding you accountable to staying focused right um that's you know everything about that and, and what you do um let's let's who yeah. does your what what does your audience look like so if i was in your audience who would i be if i wanted to hire and write in the right uh, coaching and solutions. How? Who, who, what does that look like? What does the audience look like? Not like you know, really, not like red hair, black hair. <laughs> exactly. And you know <laughs> that that can be a challenging question. And I ask myself that uh, routinely. Okay. And I'm going to give you two, not two different answers, two pieces of information. It's somebody I work mainly with emerging and experienced leaders and or their teams who either are self-aware or who want to become more self-aware, aware, who are doing things well and want to do things even better. Yeah, stop They're growing, curious. right? Exactly, because if, if you're not growing, you're dying. That's right. Jim Rohn, let's go. They're, yeah, they're curious, they have courage, they have goals, and they know where they want to be or they're, or they're interested in exploring where they want to be. And they're willing to figure out what they're willing and able to do to get there. That's brilliant. And they're probably willing to be guided as well, right? I mean, willing to be coached. I mean, those are some pretty. Yeah. yeah. A and lot of. What, uh, go, ahead. go ahead. I was going to say, and coaching, coaching isn't counseling. It's not therapy. It's not mentoring. It is not me telling anybody what to do. That's right. That's a misnomer. That's right. Coaching is partnering with people and asking them questions and walking with them on their journey to figure out where they want to be. Honestly, Gabe, you and I both know the yeah. client, I'm going to go with 95% of the time, the client has the solution. They just don't know it yet. Somebody said to me once that, uh, and this, I'll never, ever forget this. And it's given me wish to strive to be a little bit more of a master, but the difference between a teacher and a master is a teacher puts education inside of you and a master pulls education out of you. 
And when I heard that, it just blew my mind of, of um, now I'm inspired to be something more than just a teacher, than more than just putting that education. Cause, cause I, I'm, I've been educated. I know a lot of things, but it, that, but to be able to pull it out of somebody, that's something completely different. Right. And isn't that, I think one of my most rewarding parts of any part of my, my, my career, my job, life in general is watching people that light bulb go off and they figure it out. That's so cool. And, and, and you know, I used to think- It's a rush for into, us. Yeah. When I first got into teaching, I quote, thought I had to teach everything. Right. I don't think that anymore. I look at myself. I help people learn. Heck yes. Heck yes. Professionally and, yeah. help people learn. <laughs> and, and even, and personally, and you know, somebody asked me a couple of years ago, what they asked a group of us, it wasn't just me. They said, what do you want to see more of in the world? Great and question. honestly, that came out that that came to me immediately. I want to see more people appreciate the gifts they have to offer and value what they take into the world in general and appreciate what other people bring. Wouldn't that be something? That's it. Yeah, if we that, if we could it. only magic wand, right? Just magic wand the whole thing. Uh, I'd, be, I'd be backing up. I'd be supporting that plan. That's for sure. And right yes. for president. Let's go. Well, yeah. <laughs> I won't even go to the president right now. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> won't even go there. We're just going to stick to coaching and <laughs> yeah, stick yeah. to coaching. <laughs> what what makes what makes your business unique? Why do your customers, clients choose you? What's what separates you from your competition? You know, I, I've been think I think about this from time to time. I think it's because the majority of my clients have walked in their shoes. It doesn't mean I have the answers. It just means I feel as if I have great empathy. And even if I haven't walked in their shoes, I still have empathy. But they will find that I can ask tough questions with kindness and compassion. Heck yeah. Heck yes. What a, I'm, great, what a great thing. What you, thank you. What, what you see is what you get. Yeah. And if I can support them and if I have what they have to offer, I will share that. And because of networking collaboration, nobody can be everything to everyone. That's right. And so I feel as if my clients know if I don't have whatever it is they, they are looking for, I will do everything I can to refer them to somebody that can. Yes. So it's not, you're not wishing that you're the one that helps them. You're wishing that they are able to get the help. Great. My goal is to help our clients achieve their goals. It, I don't mean, when I say it doesn't matter, I use that loosely. It doesn't matter if it's me or whomever. What matters is that it's the right person for that person at that time. I remember, I remember. Oh my gosh, decades ago. I won't even tell you how many decades because I will date myself. I managed a fabric store. Somebody came in and asked for, I don't even remember what it was, ribbon, whatever it was. It doesn't matter. And we didn't have it. I said, well, do you want me to call another fabric store? And it was our major competition. And she said, you would call your competition? Why? I said, well, I don't have what you need. You need it today. And if they have it, I am happy to find out for you to save you a trip because I want you to get what you need for your project. And what she a said, mindset. Wow. And I said, I, that's that's why we're here. And I can assure you, Gabe, she came back to our store faithfully. That's amazing. And, and it's so world abundance, right? A world of yeah. abundance, not a world of scarcity, a world of abundance. No. Yeah rising tide that's it's been my thing right now it's it, rising tide raises all ships i want everybody exactly. that i talk to and, and and like like you we we want everybody that we talk to to succeed i do we just want that we want them to have a successful outcome or achieve their goals yeah. like you had mentioned a minute ago absolutely oh, absolutely um what's what's one thing that you wish more people knew about your business sometimes it, it i wish they knew the impact that coaching can have in their life. 
and that coaching is an investment in themselves and in their future. I wish that they knew. And, you know, I also wish that they knew that asking me a question, how can I say this? I want to serve people. I, I really do. I want people to know you can ask me a question. You can come to me. There's no strings attached. I, I want to share with you what, yes, what I have to offer and what's out there and what other resources might be available. Yes. I wish they knew I coached, facilitated team retreats and workshops and did some motivational speaking and soon to be. I mean, I have a chapter in a book, but soon to be having a book of my, but I'm so excited. I'm I'm crazy excited for you. I'm absolutely crazy. It's on my list. It's on my list. And I, there's also a coach that I've been speaking with, but uh, have not hired. And um, but it is on my list. I'm so excited for you to uh, Thank get you. that. What a huge, huge accomplishment! But I want to go back real quick to what you said yes. because yeah, absolutely. As a coach, and what you just said, you want people to know the impact that coaching has as an investment in themselves and their future. That is. Right. Such a powerful statement. And, and most people, you know, it, it, it's, it's fascinating how many people will watch athletes and they don't think about all of the work that goes behind why that athlete is just so powerful. Mm -hmm. And you just summed it up in a nutshell to me. And, and I, I think that's just a, a wonderful way to put Thanks. that. Thank you. You're um, welcome. so Let's let's talk about marketing for a minute. Um, as a business, uh, you you're you're quite obviously incredibly familiar, and you are a professional coach. What kind of avenues do you take um, for marketing? Has there been like one successful marketing strategy that you've used that's really just kind of blown it up for you? Has really provided the leads to be able to talk to those people? What does that look like? You know, it's it, networking and word of mouth. It, that's really, it's about personal relationships. Yes. And there are things that I'm going to do a little more of this year. It's really yeah. about personal relationships and finding out what is important to the person. It's about servant leadership. Oh, nailed it. <laughs> that's what it, it, it's, yeah. And I'm going to be writing some posts uh, for later in the year and to post. And believe me, it's not about me. It's about I'm, what my goal is, is to provide value to somebody. You know, I think I would have been more successful sooner had I learned some things sooner. Oh, man. So one of my goals is, <laughs> yeah, I mean, one of my, we're all going to make mistakes. One yeah. of my goals is if I can provide, whether it's information, inspiration, so that somebody, they'll make their own mistakes, but can prevent a mistake or can give some people something of value to support them in being successful sooner. They'll be successful. Yes. But sooner. Sooner. Pace. Pace. Sooner. And you yeah. you just said something there too. Um, oh, and it just left me. Oh, oh, it was so good too. I'm gonna look back on this and be like, that was it. Naturally, that's okay. I knew that was gonna happen. Um, oh, it's right there. It's so good. That's too bad. Uh, so okay. Well, we'll move on and maybe I'll remember it and I'll come back to it. Um, what, uh, what approach, so, so obviously there's going to be a lot of business owners out there that are going to be watching this, um, as well as the community, you know, a lot of our community members and things like that. But, um, you know, speaking to the business owners out there, what approach have you taken to track your leads? So when you get leads in, cause you know, remember as a business, we're all in sales, of course. And, um, when you actually, uh, get leads in, do you have a system in place right now, like a CRM or anything that you use? that helps you kind of monitor that or track that? What's your strategy? You know, right now I put it in, uh, I keep track. I have an Excel sheet and make my yeah. notes. I am actually looking into some different systems to be what I'm going to say more efficient. It's not that it's not efficient now, right. more efficient. That is actually one of my goals this year is to really discover a more efficient customer relationship management because I keep notes, I follow up, I have folders for different, you know, for every client. Right. I'm going to elevate that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you just said a minute ago, like, um, you don't have to, uh, you equated efficiency. My, my brain is just really scattered today. 
you, you just said just a moment ago, um, when people, oh my gosh, Gabriel, what is no, happening? No, you're good. Oh my gosh. We, it doesn't have to be, even though it's good, it was about, oh, I got it. You're successful, but can we help you get there faster, right? You exactly. were talking about pace. The same thing with efficiency when you were just talking about mm -hmm. the lead marketing strategy or, or tracking your leads. You track your leads and you're successful at it, but can it be better? And that's that's kind of the model that you had just mentioned before right. that really right. applies to the lead tracking too. Right. Um, you think they just correlate and we can always be better. We're, mm -hmm. we're not growing. You're dying. That's right. Super simple. Yeah, sorry about that. No, you're good. <laughs> it's, it's Friday. Hey. It's Friday jitters. It's Ann jitters. She gives me jitters. No, <laughs> Gabe, and I, we are... We know each other outside of this too, and it, great relationship. And I love that. I love yeah, that. Too. And what I love about it is, no, we're all human, yes. and we're here to support each other. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, it's well. Let's let's talk about you for just a moment. Okay. We spend a bunch of time focused on your business, sharing back, sharing best practices, things like that. What impact? Actually, let's go back. When we take a look at your journey so far, what's been the most memorable challenge that you've experienced in specifically your coaching journey or hurdle that you were challenged with that uh, you were forced to overcome? What does that look like? You know, honestly, believing that I could do it and that imposter syndrome, not going to lie. It, it, do I, I mean. So good. One of my friends who I met through my coaching certification and I went to the coaching certification, education, whatever, hoping that, oh, please just let me get along with everybody. Let me, you know, we all gel and all these things. Yeah. Never yeah. in my, and that was in 2016, never yeah. in my wildest dreams did I know that I would meet someone else and she and I have become, became friends. And we talk or text at least once every other week. And we've done that since 2016. And oh I have gosh, not seen, fantastic. and I've not, and I've never, she lives in Michigan and I've not seen, I've not seen her physically in, in the same place since. And wow. she said to me, she goes, Ann, I don't understand the imposter syndrome with you. She goes, you have a lot to offer. And, and I said, and she said, you, you, when she said, you take it for granted, she wasn't being critical. She's like, you just assume everybody else knows this, this, these things. Right. And, and you know, she, well, go ahead. Yeah, no, go ahead. Yeah. Well, it's so funny how we all see it in other people. It's so hard to see it in ourselves. Right. I suffer Guilty the same. Is charged. Yeah. I suffer the same. I suffer the Guilty. same disability is what it is. Honestly, yep. uh, that imposter syndrome and that, um, but then, you know, you start talking to people and it's like, wait a minute, we actually click. <laughs> where, yeah. where did this come from? Right. And yeah. it's no longer about judging. It comes from a judging, honestly, I think a lot um, and judging ourselves so much. Oh, yeah. We're so hard on ourselves. What right. a great. What a, so what impact did that have on the growth of your business? It, it impacted me to just continue to move forward, believing in myself self and realizing I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to have all the answers. Right. That's probably been, been the biggest hurdle that I've once in a while, I still work through, you know, because I want to have the answers and yet you just, we just don't. So it's really overcoming the imposter syndrome yeah. and just believe, not just, but believing in your, yourself, myself, and she has been also key in the book and saying, Anne, just keep writing. They're not going to like it or not like it if you don't write it. Isn't that and a I'm fact? Like, <laughs> yes. So she has been key, though. We support each other. She has uh, taken a journey in coach or uh, in yoga. And she comes to me with the same challenges that I go to her with. Perfect. And so it's really, it's a great, yes. It started out professionally and it has turned into just one of the, just a beautiful friendship too. That's so amazing. And you know, you, I'm you so, get, I'm grateful. 
you get to relate to, right? You get to learn that even though you're, you have these, you have these challenges, you're not alone. The, the, the whole point of this program is to expose that is to just lift the rock and shine a light on that and be like, look, we are all experiencing these heavy challenges and burdens that we place upon ourselves. You're not alone. And, right. you know, um, be, be welcome in this club that represents only 7% of the population who are business owners. Be welcome in this club because you earned it. You know what I mean? Uh, you're here. You're doing it. You're challenging yourself. You're growing. You're building a book. Huge things. That's it's welcome. exciting. It, it is, is exciting. exciting. <laughs> right. So, and I hope it's inspiring to other people that oh. they can do it, too. It will be. Oh my gosh. It so. absolutely will be. I hope so. Um, we've certainly covered a lot of ground. Um, yeah. For those who are watching, I highly encourage you to save this, come back and take a look at it. Uh, Anne is just such a wonderful person and to learn from her is just, it really is a gift. Um, as we begin to wrap up though, and I got a few rapid fire questions for you. Okay. Okay. And these are going to be one word or one sentence answers. All right. For, okay. uh, for time's sake. Um, yep. But you ready? You think you can handle this? I think I can do it. Good deal. Here we there, go. Oh, no, I, yes, I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I can okay. do this. All right. First question. What is the key to success for you? One sentence. Attitude, determination, perseverance, and continuing to learn. Let's go. Sharpen the saw. Perseverance yes. is such a big one. Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. All day, all day. May have read that, I don't know, four or five times. Maybe. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to, you know, say anything. Yep. What is your one piece of advice for other business owners? Put one piece, servant leadership and be honest about what you offer. Oh, bingo. Very good. I love how all of these answers are also different and perfect. These are so good. Um, what is one book you're reading now or have read most recently? Um, Think Again by Adam Grant. I, I really like that book. Okay. Think Again. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Adding it Think to my again. list. <laughs> yeah. When I ask Stephen these book Covey, questions, yeah. uh -huh. it's for me. When I ask these book questions, it's totally I love it. <laughs> I love it. Not for the audience. I love it. No. All right. Um, if you had to choose only one area of your business you could immediately improve tomorrow, what would it be? One area that I would improve. When you say improve, you mean expand or continue growing? I want to make sure I know what you're Not asking. A problem. Yeah, so improve means to make better. So if you've got uh, one area of your business that is not, you know, could be better, what's the one that's the most priority to you? We talked about prioritization earlier. What do you think is the most priority to you if you had a choice to make it better? Which one, which part of the business would you do? I think to make it even better and to grow, I think I would expand. Boy, that's a tough one. <laughs> I think I would expand. I feel like throwing the some team, music in the back. Yeah, there you go. The, the team retreats. The team retreats because that serves the team, which will lead also to the speaking. So team retreats, that's what I'm going to, for today. Got it. Absolutely. Great. All right. Before we get to the final question of the day, how can others yes. learn more about you and your business? How can they get in contact? They can contact me either via phone, 515-229-8029. My email is right solutions one two three which is spelled right my last name but it has a w so it's w r i g h t s o l u t i o n s one two three at msn.com or they can go to my website and write solutions.com so it's an a n n w r i g h t s o l u t i o n s dot com Perfect. And for those watching, we should be able to list that just below in the uh, descriptions. Uh, so make mm -hmm. sure you click on those links uh, to get in touch with Anne. Um, last question. Here we go. Okay. What is okay. the most inspiring to you today? Okay. Um, I know it's the last question. 
I do want to share that my book should be out late March. Leading the Team Within, Overcoming Challenges and Making Decisions with Confidence by Mastering Self-Leadership. And I share that because I'm just really excited and I want to share with people to inspire them. Follow your dreams. Follow oh, your dreams and make them reality. Absolutely. What is inspiring to me today? My faith inspires me and supports me in knowing that I have the opportunity to inspire and serve others. That is so good. That is so powerful, Anne. I'm so appreciative of you. Thank you. And I appreciate being here. I, I really do. And I just, I'm so grateful that you give people the opportunity and that you invited me to be here. Really, thank you, Gabe. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. That's awesome. That's awesome. I appreciate you. As we wrap up, I just want to say thank you again. And uh, this has been just fantastic. I love talking with you. Um, it, it's always been wonderful every time. And I'm, I'm deeply, deeply grateful that you allowed me and our audience to kind of take a look inside, lift that rock, shine a light and see what's going on there with Ann and your business. And I'm looking forward to seeing you just blow it up. I, I honestly can't wait. Wait, I want to be one of the first readers of your book. And so let's go. Trust me, I'll buy a couple copies. I may hold you to the, well, I, when I say I won't hold you to buy, but I, I, I may hold you and ask you to see if you want to be one, on my launch team. You never know. I mean, yes. Yeah. You, you know my number. <laughs> I know. I'm just giving you grace, Gabe. You're, you're a busy person. That's okay. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much. This has been Business Spotlight with Ann Wright of the Wright Coaching and Training Solutions and your host, me, Gabriel Moore with Action Coach Business Coaching. Thanks for watching. And we're going to see you guys next time. Thanks, Ann. Thank you so much, Gabe. Thanks.